Hey everyone, I'm Madeline and welcome to my channel. Today I'm showing you Inktober's day 14, 15, and 16. So for day 14, um, I decided to ask you guys over on Instagram what you wanted me to draw. And it was between a thief and a druid because I knew I wanted to draw someone in a hood. And I, I don't know if I mentioned, but I'm not going to draw any witches as costumes or anybody as dressed up as a witch costume for this Inktober just because it's a very trendy topic and I don't want that drawing to get kind of lost in the weeds. Um, but I do like drawing hoods and people in hoods and wearing them and stuff. So the things that came to my head were thief and druid. So I asked you guys. And the poll took off. I did not expect that many people to vote so quickly. But I'm so grateful you guys did. It was so much fun to see it just skyrocket on the thief side. I think all of maybe uh six people uh, voted for druid and it was just overwhelming with the amount of people that chose thief so i decided to choose, go ahead and go with thief and um <laughs> i had a couple different ideas i had one where it was supposed to be like an older sister taking candy from her little sister's pail um like her favorite kind of candy uh, I had another one where it was just like this little kid in next to a Halloween bucket that says, please take one. And he's taken like a big giant handful. But I settled down on this idea where she is very proud of herself because she managed to jack a candied apple, which happens to be one of my favorite fall treats. I thought it would be funny just showing her face full of pride and she's beaming and almost like she stopped in the middle of running just to show you her prize and then she kept going after the picture was done. So for day 15, I did use inspiration from the Inktober prompt legend, although I don't think or at least I don't feel it came across as legend. I really wanted to do like an Alice in Wonderland um, costume and pay homage to the original illustrations. And with the original illustrations, her dress is quite plain at the top. And I didn't really think about that when I was sketching it and I only wanted to do like a bust sketch. So. She looks pretty plain. She doesn't look really like she's in costume, but I decided to add in a necklace um, with a potion bottle that says "Drink Me" on there, since that is in the game or is in the story. And I kind of have her with this little bit of an attitude, um, mostly because the whole time I was drawing her, I was like, Ugh, "This doesn't even look like a costume." So. I decided to go ahead and have her face read that also where she's like of course I'm wearing a costume you know like she's annoyed at somebody making fun of her so that was for day 15 day 16 I also used the prompt as inspiration it was um, wild and I have been wanting to draw some of my warrior girls for so long just like it feels like it's been way too long and I haven't really sketched any either I love drawing like post-apocalyptic girls or Vikings or warrior type of women you know sci-fi things like that so I decided to take the word wild and run with it as as like you know the Vikings how they can tend to have wild tendencies or just be very strong and hot-headed and things like that. So I decided to go ahead and use that as my inspiration for today. And she is eating a candy bar and she notices um, a type of creature in the trees, which I left as kind of a watercolor abstract background um, because I didn't want to focus any, I didn't want to put too much focus on that at all. I just kind of wanted that to be something that you happen to see when you're looking at the illustration. So she just kind of glances over her and kind of sees this wild creature looking at her while she's eating this candy and she has her bag like 
clutched under her arm to protect the rest of her candy. And I actually am enjoying, you know, drawing all these bags with these people because I do have bags on my Etsy shop that I hand painted. And I plan on making a couple Halloween trick-or-treating bags also to sell locally. Um, just quick little designs and something relatively inexpensive just because it's I love doing that and I use the 100% organic cotton canvas bags for them. So that is it for the midweek Inktober wrap up. I will have another video at the end of this week for the next three, four drawings. It's 17th, 18th, 19th, and I should, yeah, I think there'll be those three. That'll be the next ones. I may wait until the 20th, but we'll see. Um, I really am excited to finish out this month and figure out these videos for you guys. I do have some really good things in the works for next month. And these, um, or this Inktober 2019 zine will be on pre-order by the end of this week. So if you have a suggestion for any of the illustrations that have already been used for the cover of the book, let me know because I have a couple in mind already that I would like to do, um, but I would love your input on it. And I will be asking on Instagram also to vote for your favorite drawing so far. So that way it can possibly be the cover for the Inktober zine. Um, and if you have any um, favorites for stickers, let me know that too, because I do want to do prints and stickers. Last year I didn't get a chance to do any stickers, um, but this year I really would like to do that. Thank you to my patrons, Julia and Elby. If you're interested in supporting my art and my channel, click on the Patreon link. You can get your name shouted out at the end of my videos. Join the Sticker of the Month Club or get a monthly original sketch from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like if you enjoyed this. Be sure to comment down below answer, asking me questions and answering any of my questions. And I will see you guys in the next video.